Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mamta Dekhe. I'm a reproductive medicine and IVF specialist with over 22 years experience in this field. I'm the director of Zenith Advanced Fertility Center. We are based in Wakat as well as Korekau Park in Pune. The topic that I am going to discuss today is low AMH in the Indian context. I know that there are a lot of videos on the topic of low AMH, but what I am going to talk about is how it is affecting Indian women. Now AMH or the anti-mullerian hormone is a hormone that is secreted by certain cells called granulosa cells which surround the eggs in the ovary. Suffice to say, that more the number of eggs and the cells that surround these eggs, higher the AMH and vice versa. Hence, AMH will give us an indication of the number of eggs that are present in the ovary of that particular woman at that particular given point of time. What is important to understand is that every woman is born with a set number of eggs in her ovary which means at birth the number of eggs that a woman is going to have in her ovary that amount or quota gets fixed and it is from this pool of reserve this pool that is present in the ovaries of that woman that the woman keeps utilizing the eggs that are produced every month during her menstrual cycle so for example, if you have a bank account into which you can deposit money only once in a lifetime and then you have to keep withdrawing from that account for your expenses, obviously eventually everything is going to get exhausted. Similarly, every month as the woman menstruates and she produces a mature egg, along with that there are many more eggs which perish which means a woman is losing hundreds of eggs every menstrual cycle now if one of these eggs which is maturing fertilizes gets fertilized by the sperm forms an embryo and implants there is a pregnancy but if month to month pregnancy does not occur and the menstrual cycle goes on she is going to keep utilizing these eggs over these months. So if there is a woman who is born with lesser number of eggs in her ovary or a lower ovarian reserve compared to what we consider as normal, or if she is losing more number of eggs every month due to whatsoever reasons, then this woman is going to have lesser number of eggs in her ovary compared to what we would expect as normal at that particular age. Now, this is the most important point that I want to make. Indian women have a lower ovarian reserve compared to their Caucasian counterparts. Yes, ethnicity has a huge role to play in determining the ovarian reserve or the pool of eggs that a woman is born with. Now, what is causing this? Why do Indian women have a low or a poor ovarian reserve? We still do not know the reasons behind this. Is it genetics, nutrition, pollution, or the high incidence of diabetes in our population? Irrespective of the reason, it is a dangerous trend and one that every Indian woman should be aware of irrespective of whether she lives in India or outside of India because this is dependent on her ethnicity. So basically we are six years advanced in terms of our reproductive aging compared to Caucasian and some other ethnicities. Now what does this mean? This means that the fertility potential or the chance of pregnancy that a Caucasian or women of other at some other ethnicities may have at the age of 36. An Indian woman 
probably reaches that potential at the age of 30 itself, losing six chronological years to her ovarian reserve. Now, this is something that everybody should be aware of. It is, I believe, that all girls and women should have this information. Do not press the panic button because there are many determinants to pregnancy and even a low AMH does not exclude you from having a pregnancy either naturally or through treatment. But it is important that lack of information or awareness or knowledge regarding your ovarian reserve should not cost a woman the chance or the ability to have her own biological child. And hence, this is important for every woman to understand, especially Indian women to understand that you need to be aware of your ovarian reserve. And it is time that this awareness is created. Getting to understand your own individual ovarian reserve is probably one of the most important steps or the key that could help you on your journey to achieve your dream of parenthood at the appropriate time. So I would encourage everybody to understand the importance of ovarian reserve, to understand what significance it plays in um, the, your fertility, the age of the woman and the number of eggs that she has in her ovary are the two most important determinants of her ability to have um, a, a children and her ability to have a good success rate even with treatment. I would encourage everyone to share this information, this video with friends, family, sisters, wives, friends, colleagues and may, with whoever you think will benefit with this information, especially Indian women who live in India or who may even be living outside of India. So if you have any more questions regarding this topic, please feel free to write to us and I really do hope that this information helps you at least get an understanding or create some awareness about how you need to be aware about your fertility potential. Do write to us if you have any more queries um, uh, on our email which is info at the rate zenith.clinic and we would be happy to address any questions, queries or concerns that you may have about this topic. If you have any other questions or any other topics that you would like us to address, please do send us that as well. Thank you for being with us and hope this information helps everybody. Have a good day.